No, I'm not who I will be, but I'm becoming, becoming someone who he's making me daily. Just watching you see, get used to me. Cause the man who you knew ain't no more. And the man who is will soon be. Newly defined, renewed in the mind, attached to the blind as he proved me. Yes, he's making me over. Yes, my old heart, man, he took that. And I'm so far gone, my mind has been blown. So just say my wig has been pushed back, back. I'm not settling, back, track. I'm not pedaling, back, back. It'll be evident as I'm crack, crack, like a skeleton, skeleton. Yeah, so we're flipping the dimes, whips in the pie and the blow. Living the shine, remember them times, but no, that's not how I'm defined no more. I'm blind no more, it's time to grow. I'm flying for show, they looking like how. He used to be wild and foul, he made me his child and wild. You just take a look at me now. I am the clay, my heart is not flesh, it's mushy, wet, and yes, it's perfect for him to reshape, I'm just pottery, dirt from the earth, just a vessel, curse, deserving a death, yo, we're certainly a wretch, we're to confess, because I've been purchased and blessed, though, nah, I'm living to die, and say that I'm dying to live, I'm trying to give him all I just bought, and the y'all see clearly that I am now his, I am now his, you can keep watching me transform, and there's a truth I will stand on, and stand strong, the potter will perfectly mold when he gets his hands on, and his hands on me, so look at the potter, don't look at the pot, look at the builder don't look at the house look at the shepherd don't look at the flock i belong to my god now and i'm ready to fly now and they looking like how i used to be wild and foul you made me your child and wow you just take a look at me now okay so number one is anticipating on a fastball inside, especially with a guy that's got good movement or good velocity, anticipating where the location is going to be. Um, on the average pitcher, the average pitcher, let's say the average high school pitcher, all high school right, average high school pitcher throws about 82, 83 miles an hour. Maybe has a little bit of run, but not too much. The average pitcher, 82, 83. Is he going to start off throwing a fastball? So if pitchers are going to concentrate on throwing, about two inches off the black, then our anticipation has to be to be able to get around that pitch off the black. All right, so we're not we're not trying to work to make this pitch right here on the black a strike. We're not going to do that. That's already a strike, right? It's over the black. So we're, so we're looking at not only just the pitch is two inches off, but we're going to anticipate even a little bit more because if we anticipate more, we can come back around it, have good base weight, have good technique. Make it look better. Is it going to be a strike? We don't know. We're not necessarily trying to throw a strike, right? We're trying to jam him. Um, maybe, maybe freeze him, get him looking because he's throwing a couple of speed pitches over here. So number one is your anticipation. All right, anticipate that ball being out here in this vicinity, right in here, inside. Get a little shift going, and then as that pitch is coming, we're already we're going to start implementing that little sway as that pitch is in the air. You guys understand that? The second part to this is going to be having glove pre-pitch mo motion, right? We talk about pre-pitch when we throw, we're going to talk, talk about pre-pitch with our glove as the pitch is in flight. If we are, if we can have the mindset of getting to that pitch around and early, catching the outer half of the baseball, then our gloves are, are going to work into the strike zone as opposed to reaching away from the strike zone that pretty common sense right we want everything we want to catch everything in, in, in a funnel like in a backwards funnel our glove our glove action should be going up in towards the strikes in this way into up towards the strikes in this way and in towards the strikes in that here our glove technique has to happen before the ball pops the glove that's what we're looking at once the ball pops the mitt there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any turning there shouldn't be any yanking there shouldn't, there shouldn't be any window washing right Umpires see that, coaches see that, that's not what's going to help you get to the next level. Okay, so we're going to work, we're going to anticipate, work around it early, and then with our good glove action. Now, typically we want to catch it, if we can, with a little L right here. We want that ball to pop this part of our mitt, and we want to just let it turn right there. Boom, let it turn. 
We want to we want to work on all those aspects. Notice my glove. Notice what my glove's doing. It's going. It's leading as my as I'm shifting over. It's leading in that direction. Once the ball's popping the mitt, there's nothing. There's nothing else. Okay. That's a lot different, isn't it? What didn't I do right there? Right. No shift. Right. What else? Right. I went to it. I went to it. We don't want to do that. All right. We want to get around it early. Pitches in fly. My bot, my hips, and my glove is moving, anticipating here, so that I can get it right out there. Ah, I remember what. I remember where I was in the strike zone. So when you extend on that low pitch, and you get under and around it, and you reach, especially that low pitch, you keep it in the strike zone. We want to do that. We want to keep pitches two more. Okay, that's just on the black right there. Come on, Joe. No pressure. Okay. El mask. El mask. Ooh, oh, that was nice. easy. Okay. Now those ones are easier because naturally you're going that way, right? The tough ones are the ones that are out here. You really got to get. You really got to get out. Get turn. Get beyond the baseball. You got hard one now. Yeah. And then close in this way. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, can we see how he drifted backwards? What was the last time you did one? Right? Huh? Ready, what was the last time you did one? Right? You guys saw that, right? You guys saw how he drifted backwards. Is that what we want to do? No, that's not what we want to do. So it's good that we have a modeling of how to do it incorrectly and then how to do it correctly. <laughs> yeah, done, Harvey. Think so with the pressure, right? All right, so we're going to talk about a couple of elements. Number one, whenever there's a foul ball, when you're catching right here, and there's a foul ball, okay? Off, off the bat. Anytime it goes this way, you should be anticipating a pop-up. Right? You really need to anticipate. Not right here in the circle, because everybody can make those plays. Pillow? You have to expect the ball to be out there mm -hmm. along the track, right? along the fence. Because with that mentality, your first step is going to be that much more responsive and explosive. You're going to be able to get those some good range. Okay? So anticipation is the first key. Number two. We, when we see this, and even I felt myself do this, I heard up, and the first thing I did was I took my whip, my, my mask off, and I went going up like this. I stood straight up, okay, and I looked straight up. As soon as my head went up, my whole body extended upwards. Everything we do with catching, we want to stay nice and low, right? We want to stay low. So what I should have done is, as my mask goes up, boom, I still stay in the position to be able to fire and blow from here. Because what I had, what I would have had to do if the ball was off to the side, I would have had to go up, find it, oh shoot, and then drop into a running stance and then get going, which would have caused me to waste time here. You don't want to waste time. So as you look to find the ball, right, obviously you have an idea, you're expecting it. Boom, the mask is off. Oh, one and done. Woo! 